A father waits disconsolate at the wake for his daughter. To add to his despair, her body isn't even there. Hijam, a member of the majority Meite community in India's Manipur state, was reported missing in July. When pictures of her appeared on social media in late September, government officials said she was dead, killed by Kuki tribal fighters who kidnapped her. For her father, a profound sense of frustration to compound his loss. I am deeply dissatisfied. Despite approaching the chief minister and the security advisor, they didn't listen. They thought it was just a case of her disappearing and it would be forgotten. It was only after a series of protests by students that the details came out. Parents on both sides of this ethnic divide are grieving. David was beheaded while volunteering as part of a Kuki community patrol unit, defending his village. His father blames the Meite community. My son was killed in conflict with the Meite community. I don't know why the authorities haven't arrested anyone or why they aren't even investigating properly. The list of victims in this latest outbreak of violence in Manipur is growing. And many accuse the government in New Delhi and provincial authorities of not doing enough to resolve the conflict. As village defense volunteers parade a symbolic coffin to represent fallen comrades, a strong sense that the Central Bureau of Investigation, or CBI, has been too quick to blame them for the recent violence. To the common people, it feels that the CBI is deliberately you know, picking certain cases which can serve the purpose to save the image of the present state government, the BJP-led government, or that of the central government. The role of the authorities as an impartial mediator in this ethnic conflict now seems impossible. This former policewoman says that both Kuki and Meite communities have lost faith in the government to bring them justice. State is responsible for this conflict. It is the state. Because you cannot blame the people for the, uh, for the crisis. How have the two communities been brought to this situation? It is the state. By day, life in Manipur's capital, Amphal, goes on as normal. But by night, the city's under curfew. And with mounting casualties on both sides, real fears this conflict could grow. Tony Cheng, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.